So if there's one thing I really don't like seeing golfers do, and that is trying to have their head behind the golf ball at impact. Now that for a lot of players is gonna make them a hell of a lot worse than it actually would make them better. Because that's gonna make you do a couple things. It's gonna make you one, if you physically try to do this, hit behind the golf ball. It's gonna also make you get a little bit stuck on the inside and you're gonna stall out your rotation, have a big hand release. It's a very unstable club face too. So your direction's gonna be all over the place. Your strike could be bad. Those two together, if you do both of them in the round, you're gonna be pretty much a terrible golfer. So I don't want you doing that. Now, what I would rather you do is be more centered with the head throughout your golf swing. So like we can see here, this red line going through my body. I'm gonna hit a shot and we're gonna see my head stayed pretty much on that red line throughout the entirety of that swing there. For the backswing it was on it, the downswing it was still on it. My upper body was actually in front of it, along with my lower body. That red line was going through the right hand side. My head was still on centre. So why I want players to be more like that, especially when they're hitting, let's say, a mid iron, short iron, those type of clubs. I want to see that because that's going to create the low point being more in front of the golf ball and you're not going to have any bad manipulation of path going down in the downswing so you can be able to control the club shaft going through the ball better. So that's going to create, like we said, low point being the main important thing. Ball than turf contact. When players try to get their head behind the golf ball, what else gets behind the golf ball? The chest. So the lowest point of the swing arc is normally around where the left peck is. So if you go behind too much, Where's that low point now? So I have a level of the golf ball behind. If you're one of those with an iron, you're gonna have a terrible, terrible time. You're gonna be fatting, thinning, topping it. So that's why it's not a good thing for players to be trying to physically do. So that's where we do see players are sometimes behind the golf ball with their head. But there's a reason why that is. One, there's one very obvious one, another is because you have to know their golf swing to understand it, which we'll get into, of course. So the one very obvious one is because they have and are hitting a club in those videos you're watching where their head needs to be behind the golf ball because the ball position is more forward. So, okay, let's imagine this eight times a four iron. Ball position, really roughly be, be an easy guide would be in between middle and left foot. There we go, that four iron ball position. So where's the head now? It's behind the golf ball. Where's the head going to be now at impact if it stays on that centre behind the golf ball? Has that player tried to do that? No, they haven't. That's where, of course, got to understand what club they're hitting when they do that. Of course, a three wood off the deck, going to be a tiny bit more forward than that ball position. Very much going to be the same. That head being behind the golf ball, absolutely. Driver, absolutely. Got a head's got to be behind the golf ball because the ball position's here. No way you're going to be over here. It's not going to happen. So understanding where they are, Oh, what club they're hitting is a real important thing. They're not trying to physically do it. But some golfers have to have the head behind at impact, even with a short time, for example. And those are players who, let's say, one that springs to mind would be Justin Thomas, for example. Now, why Justin Thomas would have to do that? It's because he has a higher left arm at the top of his backswing. Now, if he just turned around and did everything I was saying to do, keep the head on centre, get the body moving forward whilst you're rotating, his club's going to look like this in the downswing. He's going to swing over the top. So what does Justin Thomas have to do? He's got to get the club back on path, doesn't he? So, like we said, when that head goes back, what's one thing that happened? Club got on the inside. But for JT, that won't happen. The club would actually more get on good path. And because JT is such an incredible athlete, he could then continue to rotate. The vast majority of us won't be able to make that part work. So that's where Justin Thomas might be. Behind the ball a little bit. Let's say if he's got like an eight or a seven nine at impact. But he needs to do it because of his golf swing. So that's, again, where understanding a player's pattern is very important rather than saying, OK, top tour player does that. JT's my favourite. I'm going to copy that without understanding what is actually going on, why he does that. Always got to understand the why. Especially if you see players in a little bit different of a spike impact, there's normally a why behind it rather than it's a swing your swing. And it essentially is, but you've got to understand the swing your swing before saying that to yourself too. So there's a great drill to do for this, for that head moving backwards. We're not all gonna be like Justin Thomas. Outliers aren't a good one. You know, the exceptions aren't good ones to base your golf swing off. We wanna be in a little bit more consistent of a position. So this is my favorite drill for this when we have that little bit too much of a head behind, or we could say too much early right side bend. All you need to do is get a long alignment stick. I've got my swing plate here, which if you want one of these, there's a link in the description to get 10% off it. 
so it's with the extension pole or I've seen people do this easily with just two big alignment sticks taped together so it's one huge one so just outside your head there on the right hand side all I want you to do don't hit it your head's going to be on center then the right side bend going through impact is what's going to keep you on center whilst the rest of the body shifts forward to create good low point control okay so here we go perfect this drill is going to be so beneficial for so many of you out there low point control being solid is the most important thing to play good golf think about the good players at your golf club think about the last time you saw them stone cold chunk one top one or thin one but it's very rare isn't it it doesn't happen too often so that's why you don't see it too often because players control their low point so unbelievably well that's why this drill is going to be so good for you so guys if you enjoyed this video Click that like button for more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So don't have that head behind the golf ball. Have it stay on the center. If it just so happens when you're staying on center, that head is behind it. So be it. It's probably the club you're hitting.